Question 19, here are five letters on a scale. So we've got A, B, C, D and E. And the scale goes from one litre to two litres. Let's have a look at what it, we've got to do. It says match each letter to one of the capacities in the list below. Remember, capacity is just a posh word for the volume or the amount of a liquid. Just like in a Coke bottle or can of lemonade, something like that. And the units are normally in millilitres, which is ml, and litres, which is just L. First thing to notice is that the five capacities are all in different formats. So these two are in millilitres, and these three, including that bottom one there, are in litres. Now we need to turn them all into the same unit, and it's probably going to be easier to turn them into millilitres. So what we need to remember is that one litre is actually the same as a thousand millilitres. And we can work out other facts from that as well. So 0.5 litres is going to be the same as 500 millilitres, that's half. 0.4 would be 400. 0.3 litres would be 300 millilitres. And other decimals as well, so 0.9 litres would be 900 litres. And we can use this to help us in a moment. So, let's get a different coloured pen. So, some of these decimals only have one digit after the point. So remember, 1.7 is actually the same as 1.700. So that will help us. So 1.7 is going to be 1,000 millilitres. And then the 0.700 is going to be 700. So it's going to be 1,700 millilitres. This one here is one and a quarter litres. So the one litre is 1,000. And the quarter of a litre, well, it's a quarter of a thousand. A quarter of a thousand is 250. It's going to be 1,250 millilitres. This one's already in millilitres, and so is this one. So I don't need to worry about these two. I can just write them out again. Notice how we're trying to get them all in the same format. The last one is possibly the trickiest. Now remember that we've got 1,000 millilitres in a litre. So because the other one in decimals I made have three digits after the point by adding on some extra zeros, I can do the same here. If I add an extra zero, it's now got three digits after the point. And this will help us figure out how many millilitres it is. So the one before the point is 1,000 millilitres, and the point zero seven zero is 70 millilitres. So it's going to be 1,000 and 70 millilitres. Now I've got all of them in millilitres, I can start thinking where they go on the scale. So the smallest one of these is 1070. So the smallest one has to go with the first one on the scale, which is letter A. So letter A has to be 1070. The next smallest is 1,200. So 1,200, if I'm moving up from A, has to be the next letter that I reach. And the next letter that I reach on the scale is B. So 1,200 has to be B. The next smallest is 1,250. So that's going to be the next letter on the scale, which is C. Next smallest, we're getting to the two bigger ones now. So the next smallest is 1560, which is the next letter, which is D. And there's only one letter left. This 1700, 1.7 litres. That's going to be the biggest one. So that has to be letter E. And there we have, we've done it.